Iceland. And fire and ice collide in a chaotic symphony. Volcanoes, glaciers, punishing landscapes, settled by Vikings and the old gods. Here, only the strongest may enter the gates of Valhalla. Forged by these brutal conditions, a powerful force is bound to rise up. Welcome. We're here today at live in Thor's power gym. Here today, Hafler Julius Bjornsson will attempt the 501 deadlift. Uh, hi, my name is Thomas Johansson, and joined with me here is Lawrence Chalet. Hi, Lawrence. How are you? I'm good, my man. How are you? I'm really good. Really excited. The energy here is amazing. Just I think so the whole world is, is ready for this right now. We've been yeah. locked down. We've had nothing to look forward to. Finally, we have a huge event, and we're all excited. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing this. Yeah, nothing, nothing bigger, really. So, so Not grateful right for the WUS and the ESPN for having us and, and all the rest of us. 100%. Yeah, we have uh, half the Julius Bjornsson uh, needs no introduction multiple time champion and of course the referee today Magnus Ver Magnussen Magnus is without question you know one of the absolute best referees in the world there he is yeah there looking, he is looking as relaxed as ever yeah <laughs> just another walk in the park for He's, this man this man has disallowed so many big lifts in the past. He's he doesn't <laughs> mind the no the, 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 you know the no lift yeah f a fair fair referee fair referee he is he's what he's one of the absolute best out there yeah you know, we've all We've all got a lot of respect for him. Yeah, definitely. And of course, you know, uh, he's just uh, the one to have for this job. There's, there's no one better. You, you know, he's deadlifted, he's refereed competitions, world's strongest man, ultimate strong man, the Arnolds, all the big events around the world. He's always there. And taking a few lifts off of you also. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's Get cost it. me a bit of money in the past, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have uh, a short commercial break right now, and then we're going to weigh some calibrated plates. See you in a bit.
Welcome back, everybody. Here, live from Thor's Power Gym. Okay, loss. We're about to weigh some calibrated rogue plates. Why are we doing that? So the reason we're weighing the plates is to really kind of justify this lift. People have been talking online about, you know, gym lifts and, you know, pe some people have been calling this gym lift. There's a big difference between using y your own plates in the gym that are that aren't calibrated. Calibrated plates are exactly what they, they, they weigh exactly what they should. So we're going to have a look now. The bar's getting weighed, and it should be bang on 20 kilos, which, if anything, it was just slightly a few grams over. <laughs> so, yeah. um, you know, they're going to go through all the plates. Obviously, we've got the 25s there now. We'll have a quick look, and look at that. Bang on 25 kilos. So we're just making sure that this lift is absolutely legitimate, and Hafthor will be lifting what we say he's going to be lifting. Yeah, absolutely. And the first lift of the day of uh, at least three attempts is the 420, which is, uh, by my calculations, uh, 925 pounds, right? That's correct. Yeah, 925 yeah. pound first lift, which is just ridiculous as a first lift. You know, you go back to 96 and the world record was 410 kilos. You know, here we are with we've, we've half the start of 10 kilos more than that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Amazing. And of course, he, he has done uh, uh, the 470 in his own gym just uh, two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, just a few weeks ago. And, and watching him lift that really gave me confidence that he can do this today. Before I saw that, I was sort of 50-50. But watching him lift that 470, I really believe he can do it today. Yeah, definitely. He it was It was so fast and... And uh, everything, it's just on point right now, Hafthor. He's, he's a man on a mission. Obviously, with, with the whole you know, issues around the world right now, it's, it's been hard for a lot of people. Thor was training for this lift. The opportunity came up to do this, and he's just been 100% you know, focused on breaking this record. How long of a time do you have to take just to train for the 501? <laughs> well, no one's ever lifted 501, so, you know, it's just it's just a ridiculous weight. But for myself, when I'm training for, like, a max deadlift, really, yeah. you want a good 12 weeks to, to kind of peak for, for an event like this. Um, you know, I'm a pretty strong guy, and my best ever was 435. To, to think someone is lifting so much more than, you know, I consider myself a strong guy, and, and Hafthor is blowing what I can do out the water. It's, it's really incredible. Yeah, definitely. And as we can see... Uh, only a few more weights left for the 420 and of course after that uh, we're going to talk to the big guy himself uh, yep. oh, the second biggest guy Magnus Ver Magnussen but uh, yeah only a we few we get to talk to, to Magnus and you know he, he's refereed so many big events we're refereeing the smaller weights then even those are bang on it's, um, the, the equipment that we're making is, is something special and it's it's fantastic to have him. It's one of the main sponsors today. Collars getting weighed as well. Absolutely everything that's going on that bar has been weighed now. Yeah, everything spot on and ready for the five tw uh, 420 lift. Sorry, 420 lift. Uh, first attempt for half four. <laughs> it's funny. Well, like you know, I th I think the the fact people are doing 500 has made us forget how impressive just 400 is, or even 300. Yeah, definitely. And we have here on set with me the referee himself, Magnus Ver Magnussen. Welcome. Main man. Hey, Lars, how are you doing? How are you doing, Magnus? All right, all right. Still alive. Okay, <laughs> Magnus, you're the referee for today. Uh, I just wanted to ask you uh, what rules does uh, Hafthor have to obey by? Well, uh, Apart from powerlifting, a strongman deadlift is you're allowed super suits like in powerlifting. But main difference is you're allowed straps. So you can strap yourself to the bar and uh, to be able to pull bigger weight. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, it's pretty much powerlifting rules. You lift it up, uh, uh, you know, you erect and uh, you know, hitching is all right, because this is strongman, it's not powerlifting. Yeah, definitely. Just quickly, Magnus, just on the rules there, 
does he have to control the weight down as well? I know you've kind of disallowed some big lifts in the past, so just want the fans to, to understand all the rules completely. Well, he's got to follow it down, yes. Okay. He, can't, he, can't, he can't drop it. Yeah. Okay, definitely. I know, you, I know you've disallowed some big lifts before, so I wanted to <laughs> clarify that. Yes, yeah, some, some <laughs> actually yeah. from mm -hmm. Big Loss, yeah. He was talking about that. <laughs> but okay. he's a, he's thank a fair you, thank you Magnus thank you Magnus and uh, we'll just uh, be right ahead with a 420 lift in just a minute Uh, a couple of minutes away now from the 420. The first attempt from four. Lawrence, how are you feeling? Uh, he's looking nice and relaxed there. Yeah. He's just kind of, uh, right now, Thor's just kind of getting focused, getting himself in the zone. He knows this is a routine lift for him these days, yeah. uh, which is, you know, like I've said, it's crazy that 420 can be a routine lift. But he's going to use this as, as a confidence builder for, for the next two kind of bigger lifts. Yeah, when you're, when you're going... When you're going from your, or he's of course going for three different, uh, yeah, kind of big weights. I, oh, they're I, they're I all huge weights, yeah. but he he's obviously kind of think you know him and his coaches will have been s sitting down planning out jumps in the in in the warm ups. They're, they'll he'll have warmed up to what he needs to. Now he's focused on his opening lift. He won't want this to be a struggle. I mean, I, I'm expecting to see a speed rep of this, which, like I said, is just insane because. Less than 400 kilos was winning a lot of international strongman comps, you know, five, ten years ago. The standard now is ridiculous, and Hafthor is trying to become the absolute best at the deadlift. Yeah, definitely. And uh, he has uh, when you when you approach the bar with a 420, do you put the same force through it as you would like uh, the 501? Yeah, he's got, to, he's got to focus on every single lift. You know, right now, he, he, he's trying to prepare himself for that 500 or 501. Um, and if he went in 80% on this lift or 80% concentration, mm. that's going to affect his, his performance. He needs to be in the zone right now, giving 100%, making this feel as easy as possible to build that confidence and give him that belief that, that he's going to pull the 501 today. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, he's uh, just getting ready right now. <sighs> So such intensity right now in the room, Lawrence. I wish you were here. <laughs> I, I I can almost feel it. You know, you can see in the background. Yeah. There's a, I think there's, there's some nerves going around, which is understandable. Yeah. Um, uh, as confident as he is, he's still never pulled this weight before. You know, the the, the 501. I mean. So um, there's there's always a little question in the back of your mind, but. I know how focused he is. He doesn't miss a meal. He doesn't miss a training session. The last two months of his life have just been focused on, on these lifts today. Lawrence, what, what is that suit he's uh, putting on right there? So he's putting a deadlift suit on. A deadlift suit will keep him nice and tight. It helps a little bit with power off the floor. They're allowed in strongman competitions um, and powerlifting competitions as well. There's obviously raw and equipped powerlifting. And the suit will just allow a little bit more oomph off the floor and just keep his hips protected. Yeah, definitely. He also lifts with, uh, he pulls the bar uh, from him and then uh, drives it to himself. Uh, does that help a little bit? Are you talking about the roll? Yeah. Yeah, it's a, a lot of the bigger guys do that. You know, um, w when you're as big as someone like Hafthor, you're just trying to get the air in. And when it's that bar's in tight, it's hard to breathe, particularly in the suit as well. So he'll push the bar away, get his breath, roll the bar in and that, that that becomes kind of habit over time and it just it's just going through the same process he's done deadlifts you know th thousands and thousands of times in the gym and here he is approaching his first lift stefan solvi helping him there a former fourth place at world's strongest man himself yeah his team by his yeah, side Andre everything the ready there. everything ready first attempt 420 on the bar so you can see he's still up for this lift, he's focused, he knows he needs to give 100%. Here we go, first lift of the day. 
Here we go, the 424 half for Julius Bjornsson. The drive off the floor, the legs, chest will come up. And look at that, 400 kilos. How fast is that? That was a extremely, extremely fast. Wow, that was incredible. I'm, I, I've lifted some big deadlifts in the past. You know, like I said earlier, my best was 435, and he just made 420 look like an absolute speed rep. Lawrence, we gotta see that again. Definitely, let's see it. Everything in position. The straps just mean we don't have to worry about grip, and that's what Magnus was explaining earlier, that they're allowed in strongman competitions. Yeah, this, this is called the uh, figure eight straps, right? Figure of eight straps, yep. Some people prefer these. They can drop the bar a little bit further down into their fingertips, as opposed to like a powerlifting lift where you've really got a grip onto the bar. But my goodness, look at the speed of that. Yeah. He looks big right now. Did you see him get weighed earlier? Yeah, he weighs about uh, 205. <laughs> And it's another big, angle big. here. Here we see Magnus with his hand up. We're looking for him to lower his hand to get a... Uh, yeah, so he's, wa he's waiting for Thor to, to make sure his hips come through, his knees need to lock out, shoulders pulled back, and lifting under control. As you can see, knees are locked, hips are through, shoulders back. Excellent, excellent lift. Thor's technique is absolutely superb on, on, on deadlifts. Yeah, definitely. Here's the man after finishing the 420 lift. Uh, can we, can, we, can we see the replay one more time? I want to see it again. It's just such uh, such good speed. Even in slow-mo, it's still fast. <laughs> yeah, amazing. But there's still more to come. Yeah, so next, uh, he's going for 465, is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. Uh, how much is that in pounds? That's actually 1,025. 1, that's, that's it, 1,025 pounds. Yeah for a second lift and how many people have done that right now in the world only two other men have ever pulled more than that uh eddie hall who's the current world record holder yeah and, and there's one other guy who's pulled 470 who actually attempted 500 recently and unfortunately failed the lift but um that's it there's there's no one else that, that's oh the, the 465 we, there's um jerry pritchett and benedict yeah. magnus yeah, they, they did it at uh, another yeah. event, yeah. They did that at the World Deadlift Championships. Was that so the same event that uh, Eddie got his? Uh, that's, yeah, that's correct, the same, the same event. Um, I actually pulled in that competition as well. I pulled 420 and failed the 440. Hmm. Um, went on to win Europe's Strongest Man the same day, but <laughs> the deadlift, deadlift I, was, I was way behind those guys. On, uh, other events were pretty good for you. Now uh, Thor is just uh, resting up. He's just relaxing. Uh, he, he has to stick to time limits today. We've given him 15 minutes between each lift. Yeah. Um, so th we're keeping the rules strict. And that's pretty standard for a powerlifting or strongman competition. Sometimes it would be a little bit longer that you'd be waiting in some shows. So we're, we're making him get through these yeah. fairly swiftly. We're going to go to a short commercial break right now. And we'll be back with it 4.65. We started with a can, added 200, no 250, no 300 milligrams of natural caffeine, extracted from plants. Yeah, plants. So you could do this, but not this. Vitamins B3, B6, B12, you're welcome. BCAAs, that just happened. Plus electrolytes, because sweat, and CoQ10, because we had room. And then we made it taste good, without the sugar. Now, go drink it. That's how we made rain, total, body, fuel.
transparent labs protein, grass fat. I love this protein. Personally, I love the milk chocolate. Why do I like this project more than others? No artificial sweeteners, no artificial coloring. Uh, this is natural, you know, nothing added to this. That's why I love. I drink this whenever I feel like I need the extra protein for my muscles. Go to transparentlabs.com get yours right away. We are a community dedicated to those who love fitness and food. We have a mission to show that you can pursue your personal fitness goals and enjoy the process. We are committed to creating a community where you can be and should be proud of your body. No matter what stage of the fitness journey you are on. From fat to fit. Hit them PRs, make them gains, and eat that donut. Join the brand, join the message, join the movement. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we have the 465 being loaded, uh, but we had a few minutes to talk with Stan Efferding, his nutritionist. Let's go ahead and listen to what he said. I don't think people understand how difficult it is for an athlete of Hofthor's size or any large athlete, I work with a lot of you know, offensive linemen in the, in the NFL, it's difficult for them to eat enough calories to maintain their mass. And the hardest part sometimes, the kind of the job of, of these sports is really the eating. The training isn't even the hardest part. Let's break it down. He needs to take in about 10,000 calories a day right now. So we'll use say a ground beef or a ground lamb or a ground bison, we'll put in say maybe three ounces or four ounces of orange juice with each meal. We use a lot of white rice. Is uh, other carbohydrates uh, might be, we'll throw a few carrots in there to get a little fiber in. Uh, definitely eat a couple potatoes a day. We use bone broth in his meals. You know, we salt all of his meals. We don't drink too much water with a meal. We'll drink the water in between meals. Uh, he'll definitely take in a little bit of dairy, some uh, yogurt or some milk. So we'll have him eat at least six eggs a day. Sometimes he'll eat considerably more than that. It's not extremely diverse, but it does have some, some fruits, has some vegetables. It certainly has plenty of red meat. Uh, I, I think he's gonna, gonna hit it pretty solid. I, I think he's got a little more than, than 501 in him. I think he could, he could do a 520, I really do. Lawrence, now we have to wait for the 465 kilograms. And while they're doing that, Lawrence, that's a lot of food. I trained with Thor for a, a few years back. And actually, I put, so I put about two or three kilos on in, in four days that I was over. Yeah. Um, you know, he, 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 when, when you go and see Thor, you basically train, you eat, you rest, you eat more, you play some computer games, eat. You know, if, if you like that kind of lifestyle, of, you know, it's, it's great, you know, to go and train with Thor. I was, I was getting strong. And um, just focus was just getting bigger and stronger. The man really, really can eat. Yeah, de definitely, definitely can eat a <laughs> lot, uh, according to what his diet is on, on a daily basis. But I would presume that he wouldn't change a thing right now because such a no. big weight is going on the bar, he wouldn't want to change anything. No, a lot of people ask about what should I eat on the day of a competition. And to be quite honest, you shouldn't really change too much to your normal daily you know, nutrition, 
if it, often if you put something new into your body, it can upset your stomach, it'll make you feel funny, you, you, may, you, you can have problems. So it's best to keep your diet the same all the time, and that's what, what Haftor does. Yeah, definitely. And and sticks to the plan. He, he's been working with Stan for a few years now, and, and every star, uh, ever since they started to work together, everything started to click. Yeah, Thor, he's got a great team around him, and he, he really does listen to all, all of his kind of nutritionists, his coaches, his team. He, he You basically tell him to do something. He, he's such an easy athlete to train because he just does as he's told. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. And yeah, let's just go ahead and, and lift those weights, and he does it. Yeah, and he just keeps getting stronger and stronger. I mean, the, you know, he's a physical specimen, but the hard work he puts in as well, you know, you can't just go on genetics. To lift these kind of weights, you have to really, really put the work in. And Thor really does. Yeah, definitely. Uh, now we have the 465 loaded. How much is that in pounds, Lawrence? It's 1,025 pounds. And that's uh, four people have lifted that? I think uh, prob probably about five people in the world have, have lifted this over various different stages, but most of them found it extremely hard. <laughs> so we'll see how... The, the, the only person that's really lifted this and made it look comfortable was Eddie Hall. So I'm, mm. I'm interested to see how, how Thor can pull this. What is that they're putting on? So they're just putting some talcum powder on his legs just to try and make sure that the friction of the bar going against his legs is, is as smooth as possible. You know, with these kind of weights, any little bit of kind of roughness, you, you if he's got hairy legs, that can affect it. We're trying to make the surface as smooth as possible so that bar oh. just slides up his legs as easily as possible. Yeah. Uh, as easily as it can be with, with 465 kilos. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> it's, Maybe it's not it easy, trust me. Yeah, maybe we're going to see another one uh, made look easy right now. Only a short this, amount of time. This will, this will show us whether he's got the, the 501 in him today. This is the, the real kind of test. If he can pull this and make it look comfortable, he's going to gain a lot of confidence. If this lift is hard, it might knock his confidence. It might take more out of him than he, you know, he planned. So this is an interesting lift. Definitely. The, the one that's going to show, show us uh, what he's made of. Now the pressure's on. Uh, the pressure is definitely on. The 420 was uh, kind of a warm-up, but... I wish I could warm up with 420. <laughs> <laughs> not, a, not a normal human being that Hathor no. is. I think people don't, you know, sometimes people watch it don't realize how strong this man is, or these guys. You know, lifting, lifting 250 kilos is impressive. When, you, when you're talking up at 400 and then 500 kilos, it's just you know, crazy power. Yeah. Intense. Really, really Here we come. energetic. Come on, everybody. Going through the same routine all the time. Chalking up his hand. Everything the same. Hey. Nice guys. Let's be here. You can see the chalk in his eyes. So he's just sniffing smelling salts there to just clear his nose. Here we go. And 65 kilo. Straps himself to the bar. And he's just got to focus on the tech. Seeing every single lift training. Driving as hard as he can. Four. Chest up. Bar in. And up it goes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> How good was that? 465 kilos. Oh, that was that was even better than his, his 470 in training a few weeks back. Definitely. He is ready. He is ready for this 501 kilos. Definitely. He wants that on the bar. I that have never seen that kind of weight move like that before. <sighs> so, so much weight. Let's see that <laughs> one again, Lawrence. Let's see that <laughs> one again. So here we go. He goes to the sa exactly the same process as the 420. Rolls the bar in. You can see the marks on his shins where the bar is scratching up his legs. Shoulders staying high and pulling back. Hips come through. Knees locked out. 
it's just a beautiful lift. He, you know, in strongman we allow hitching. It's all about getting the, the weight from A to B. But Thor doesn't hitch. He has perfect technique. Great combination of drive with the legs and pull with the back and the hamstrings and glutes. Hips fire through nicely. You can see the effort in his face. As easy as it makes it look. It's still a big lift. You can see how red he's going in the face, the blood pressure building up with how much stress this is putting on his body. But he's, um, he's making it look very, very comfortable. There's the that man is himself. a man that is determined to break this world record today. Definitely, and that's actually the next lift coming up soon, the 501. See there, they're just sorting out his shins. That's a very, very common side effect of deadlifting, people scraping up the bar against their shins. Yeah, Lawrence, I want to see it again. Let's see that replay again in slow motion. <laughs> that was amazing, the speed compared to Addis 465. How, how good was that? Uh, both lifts were incredible, but look how easily this comes up. Thor, I've, I've always said Thor is probably better at lockout yeah. than Eddie, and Eddie's always a bit stronger off the floor. Eddie has tremendous quad power and leg strength. He drives hard off the floor, and he has great speed. And that was probably one of Thor's weaknesses when he was trying world records, you know, in, in the past. But that seems to be even stronger now. And Thor, once he gets it over those knees, his lockout is so strong. He just here's pulls the, those hips through perfectly. Yeah, here's the big man. Uh, I want to see some stats from, from this man. Let's see. Six foot nine, 450 pounds. Look how tape. many titles he's won. Yeah. He is you know, legitimately one of the best strongmen of all time. Yeah, that's uh, three times Arnold Strongman Classic in a row. Uh, nine Iceland Strongman Strongest Man in a row. And I believe Europe's Strongest Man three years in a row. You broke that. You broke that yeah, streak. He's, he's, won, he's won Europe's Strongest Man five times and little old me from Swindon managed to, to stop the streak. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I wish I could say I had five Europe's Strongest Man titles. But, you know, you, you have that one. But, I uh, have one. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> you were talking about the uh, Herit Badenhof uh, 410, right? That, w that was in 1996. Yeah, so that was the, the first real time a strong a strongman competition held at deadlift for max weight from, from a standard height. So in the past, they've done various different types of deadlifts. We've seen at the Arnold's, they have the Hummer tires deadlift. There's the, the, the elephant bar deadlift. There's 18 inch deadlifts, you know, deadlifting with machines. But when they did an actual bar, you know, with weights, so there's no kind of worrying about hinges, etc. It's the same universally throughout the world. You can all kind of use the same weights. Um, 410 kilos was the record. And, you know, it went up to 430. Myself and Brian Shaw had it at 430. And then Zadrunas took it to 440. And it kept going up higher and higher. Uh, who was it? Ben uh, Benedict Magnuson took the record to 465. The, the How weight recently that, is that? So 465, I believe, was 2014. Um, and then 2014, after, after then, Eddie Hall started to kind of dominate with the deadlift. He, he took it up a few kilos. And eventually we saw Eddie do the incredible 500 kilo deadlift in 2016. And the record has stood ever since. A few guys have tried to beat it since. Uh, a guy called Ivan Makarov, if I pronounced that correctly. I, I probably didn't, so I apologize. But he's the, he's the only guy that's had a real crack at 500 kilos. He pulled 470, which is currently the second biggest deadlift of all time. Um, but just, you know, he, he went for the 500 and it just wasn't there. He broke it off the floor and I'm sure he'll be back to, to try again. But I, I've said for the last few years, I think Thor is the, is the one guy that legitimately has a chance to pull this weight. And um, I, I think he's prepped absolutely perfectly for this event. And hopefully in, in a, sh a short while, we will see him do it. I mean, he looks ready. Let's, let's see the 465 again. I mean, it, it says itself, it, it's moving. It's just a, a beautiful lift. Yeah, I can watch it for like hours. Slow motion. Such a short time. Wow. That's in slow I mean, motion, guys. As well, I mean, see the bend in that bar. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's a hell of a lift. <laughs> doesn't doesn't get any better than that, right? Well, it it does if you can pull this next one off. 
<laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Still, I mean, it, it's a huge jump still. You know, we're looking at 36 kilos he's, yeah. he's going up. It's still a very, very big jump. And Correct. when you're going up to sort of maximum level, one kilo can make a difference. So we'll see. But he, he's he's proving, you know, he's strong enough to do it. Definitely. Uh, but we'll be right back after some messages from our sponsors. We are a community dedicated to those who love fitness and food. We have a mission to show that you can pursue your personal fitness goals and enjoy the process. We are committed to creating a community where you can be and should be proud of your body. No matter what stage of the fitness journey you are on. From, From fat, fat to fit. fit. Hit them PRs, make them gains, and eat that donut. Join the brand, join the message, join the movement. Transparent Labs protein, grass fats. I love this protein. Personally, I love the milk chocolate. Why do I like this product more than others? No artificial sweeteners, no artificial coloring. Uh, this is natural, you know, nothing added to this. That's why I love. I drink this whenever I feel like I need the extra protein for my muscles. Go to transparentlabs.com, get yours right away. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back, the 501 guys. is coming up, and I couldn't be more excited. <laughs> we've had we've had the lifts we expect him to get. Yeah. Now 
it gets serious. You know, we've yeah. seen what Thor can do in the gym with his 470. Now we're going 501. He's never, ever lifted this weight. This is where we're going to test him. This is where it gets exciting. I cannot wait to see this lift. Before we get Before. that, uh, we had a few words with Sebastian Orep, his coach, and we're going to listen to what he had to say about that. It's hard to m ignore history and how it was done before. Eddie Hall deadlifted 465 kilograms before he picked up 500. The way that he picked up 465 was a very similar speed to the way that Hafthor did 470. But Hafthor is actually, the nature of the way he lifts, I still believe the way that Thor picked up five kilos more, so 470, was a little bit easier than the way that Eddie Hall picked up 465. So, so using that as a gauge, in my opinion, it does look like that 501 is, I, I'm 90% sure that that 501 is gonna come up easier than the way that Eddie did it. But it's still 501 kilograms. We can't disrespect this weight. No man has ever done this. And it doesn't matter how much I believe in Hathor, I know he's got the strength to do it. And comfortable, the term comfortable, um, is very subjective. You can't just say he's just going to comfortably pick up 501 kilograms. His face is going to go red, his nose may bleed, and he's going to work his butt off to, to lift that. He's going to put everything into lifting that. Will it come off the ground? I really believe it will. Will it look better than Eddie's? I, I guarantee you he's going to lift it better than Eddie. Will it be easy? I don't think so. The 501, he was talking about that. Now, let's just weigh the calibrated weights for the 501. Everybody has been waiting for this. And uh, Australian it's strength coach, Australian yeah, he, strength he, coach had a lot to say. He did. And, and what he said is absolutely you know, correct. 501 kilos deserves respect. You do not just approach this weight like it's, you know, a 100 kilo warm up. It's going to take everything. It doesn't matter how easy or hard it looks. Everything he has has to go into this lift. Otherwise, it's not coming up. You know, you, you can't just try and give 80% or 90%. 100% commitment has to go into every single one of these lifts when, when you get into these weights. I mean, I, 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 35, I tore my lat pulling 446. It's, it's weights that can rip your body apart. You, you, you know, unless you've been up near these kind of weights, you just don't understand how much stress they put under your body. You know, we saw how 500 kilos, Eddie talks about how it nearly killed him. Half Thor is a different specimen. He's, he's a genetic freak, six foot nine, you know, the, the body weight. He's a huge man, but he's never lifted this weight before. See him there, he's gonna be focused, just trying to stay calm, not burn up any energy. And then it'll switch on when it's time to, I'm excited now. We expected the lifts we've seen. Now it's the tester. This is the one I want to see. Yeah, this is the one for the ages, the 501. It's uh, been uh, the talk of the town for the uh, last few months. Of course, uh, it was supposed to be at a different place, but you can't delay this. This is a huge feat of strength that uh, the Icelander wants to break. Well, the guys from the ult uh, World Ultimate Strongman were supposed to be having an event in Bahrain where they were going to do this event for, uh, for the 501. Unfortunately, with what's going on around the world, that couldn't happen. But they've created this record-breaking Feats of Strength series. Hafthor is here now to try and do this. 501 kilos. We'll just put it's It's 1,102 pounds. It's, it's a big weight. It's a lot of weight. It's a lot of weight. Uh, I mean... I can't even put it into proportions how, how big of a weight it is. I mean, nobody has done it before. So there's no. not, nothing to compare to, at least, uh, I mean, he did do it, the 500, that looked really, really, really hard. And uh, oh, uh, Ed, Eddie's 500 was an incredible lift, but now it's about breaking records. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, Eddie's been the king of the deadlift. He will always be the first man to pull 500. But records are there to be broken. Yes. Hafthor wants to break this record. And I'm sure once he breaks it by one kilo, he's going to want to go up even higher. Attempt number three. 
This now is what it's coming. all about. So these guys are just getting him ready, helping him into his t-shirt. Stefan's been helping Hafthor for years. I've, I've known Stefan for so many years. Met him when I first started out. He's, you know, he's a very knowledgeable guy. Great person to have in your corner. Belt's going on now. He has this uh, belt under the belt. Uh. He's got the soft belt on first and then the SBD lever belt going on on top. He's going to try and create a lot of abdominal pressure. He's going to be kind of trying to expand his midsection a bit like a, a Coke can wanting to explode. He's trying to make his midsection as strong as possible so his back can handle this kind of weight. Here we go. Do we think he's going to get this? What do you guys think? The 501. Uh, you know, if you asked me two months ago, I wasn't sure. Seeing how the lifts have gone up today, I think I, I think he's got this. I can't wait to see it. Getting the chalk on, then he'll have a sniff of the ammonium just to clear the head, psych himself up. There you go. Here we go. The best psych up team in the world, the Icelanders. Needs all the energy. Here we go. Come on, Thor. Come on, Thor. Same place. was amazing the energy in the room just blew up there's his wife kelsey so happy wow, wow. learns this is history history making lift right there half thought julius bjornsson the first man to go beyond the 500 i have no words and now we've got to wait and see if he wants to do more yeah definitely i'm, I'm <laughs> My heart skipped a beat. That was amazing. I, I mean, I'm I'm next to the bar. Literally, it's just I, I there. It right, and I, I had competitor Loz came out there, and I was I went away yeah. from commentator Loz, and I just let it out. I wanted to be lifting. Who doesn't the, want to go and lift out? Yeah, exactly. I mean, do a do a couple of push up guys. <laughs> I, I want to see that again, Loz. I, I want to see it again. It from a few different angles. But one thing I noticed with Thor, and you see this with all great athletes, they go through the same process before every single lift. Everything is the same. It's a well-trained athlete. Breaks off the floor. Then as soon as he gets it over the knees, a tiny, tiny slow down a little bit, but he was not going to let that stop him. The glutes fired. He pulls through, gets the down signal. What an incredible lift. That was one hell of a lift. It was fast I off the ground also. Very fast. Yeah, he's, he's looking unbelievably strong. 501 kilos incredible lift you can see the effort that went in it was a, a very very good lift and you know people will say it was comfortable he, he gave everything in that i don't expect to see him try more today there was I no comfort in that that was it's, it's taken very, you know very hard. Lift, these kind of weights take so much out of your central nervous system in the past i've done big huge deadlifts and then you know pull 400 plus and then the following week my central nervous system so beat up, I struggled to pull 300 kilos. So, you know, he gave everything for that. That was the mental goal today. Personally, I don't think he's going to want to do more, but he, he'll save more for a competition, I'm sure, down, further down the line. Yeah, definitely. We're going to have a few messages from our sponsors, and we'll be coming back with an interview with Hafthor after the break.
Lüftung. Transparent Labs Protein, Grass Fats. I love this protein. Personally, I love the milk chocolate. Why do I like this product more than others? No artificial sweeteners, no artificial coloring. Uh, this is natural, you know, nothing added to this. That's why I love. I drink this whenever I feel like I need the extra protein from my muscles. Go to transparentlabs.com and get yours right away. We are a community dedicated to those who love fitness and food. We have a mission to show that you can pursue your personal fitness goals and enjoy the process. We are committed to creating a community where you can be and should be proud of your body. No matter what stage of the fitness journey you are on. From, From fat, fat to fit. fit. Hit them PRs, make them gains, and eat that donut. Join the brand, join the message, join the movement. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence. I am pumped. That was incredible. Yeah, my, my heart incredible. is pumping at adrenaline all the way. And we're going to have an interview with Hafthor in a bit. But uh, I mean, can we watch that lift again? That's the only thing I want to see right now. I want to watch it again and again and again. Everyone, everyone needs to see this lift again. Let's yeah. see it. So you can see Hafthor so strong throughout the whole of the lift. We're going to get a chance. Here we go. So like I said in the past, he's, you know, with the huge weights, he didn't quite have the power off the floor to get it up past the knees. Now look at this. The speed is great. The speed is great. The speed is great. Just slows down a little bit as he just comes past the knees. Yeah. But there's no way he's letting that go back down. The glutes kick in. Shoulders pull back. He's standing upright. Hips come through. Knees lock out. You cannot argue with that lift. It was a, a beautiful, beautiful, powerful you know, incredible deadlift. A yeah, statement lift. Amazing fitness. A statement Just lift. Amazing. The 501. Uh, such speed, strength. I want to see that again from another angle. Look <laughs> at this. Look at the effort in his face. You can see there's more there. It's incredible. He knows he's capable of more. That's a man that's confident and walks away. Here he comes, the mountain himself. <laughs> the mountain himself. Look at him. You're, I mean, you're a big guy. He's making you look tiny there, and he stood yeah, behind you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that's, what, that we, that's what he does. He's uh, yeah. a big dude. The mountain. That's oh. what he I'm, I'm a hill. He's a mountain. <laughs> yeah, look at that. He's ready to lift more. There's Bjorn in the background as well. Yeah. Bjorn is that, then uh, friends and family, uh, of His course. His whole team are always yeah. everywhere with him. You know, I've, I've yeah. competed all over the world, and you know, they're they're great people. When, I've I've said before, when I won Europe's Strongest Man, they were the first people to come and congratulate me, uh, and you know, be happy for me and my family. And right now, watching that, I'm happy for him and his. Just an absolutely incredible lift. Well done, buddy. Congratulations. And we're going to have a few words from the man himself. Congratulations, Hafthor. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm absolutely speed speechless. I'm just so happy and thankful that I got the opportunity to do this, even though the world is going through, the shit is going through. Um, I'm absolutely, you know, just blessed. And, and you know, everything today went according to the plans. Um, like I said, I'm over the moon. How does it feel to be the first human in history to pull more than half a ton? It feels great, you know, and not only did I pull, you know, this incredible weight, but I also just feel great afterwards, you know. <laughs> I'm standing here tall, feeling good, no injuries, um, so, and I'm healthy as well, so, you know, <clears throat> I believe today I could have done more, but what's the point? I'm happy with this. Uh, my family and friends, they, they were happy with this, and, and I decided to, to call it. Did you know that your record 
is being watched by the biggest crowds of millions online to over 180 countries. That's crazy. Yeah, I heard, I heard, but you know, hearing these numbers, you know, now afterwards as well, makes me extremely proud. Um, I started competing back in 2009. Um, I'm just so proud to see where the sport is going, you know. It's growing and growing and people are getting more and more interest in the sport. Um, you know, filling stadiums with 10,000 people, we have done that, you know, a um, few times in, uh, in, in Stroman. But this is the biggest I've ever seen, you know, at least online-wise. This is huge. I'm just absolutely proud. Hathor, what is next for you? Ah, uh, wow. Something new and big. You know, Core Sports just offered me a seven figure contract. Um, this is the biggest contract of my life. I've signed it already. At the hall, has been running his mouth now for some weeks, and I know that he got the same deal, same contract. So, Eddie, Eddie, there's the camera. Eddie, I know, you know, I just knocked out your record, and now I'm ready to knock you out in the ring. Time to put your fists where your big mouth is and sign the core sports contract. I'm ready. Are you ready, Eddie? Is Hafthor wow. calling out for a boxing match? Lawrence, is that Lawrence. What you're just you just hearing? You don't want to just beat his deadlift. You're looking at actually, you're taking the online banter further. Is that what he's saying? Lawrence, uh, just go ahead well, and <laughs> wrap up. <laughs> thank our sponsors. Uh, yeah, we very, very quickly we'll thank the sponsors. Rogue, Brain Body Fuel, SBD, Revive MD, Transparent Labs, Freeze Sleeves, and Kind of Fit, Kind of Fat Apparel. Thank you to you guys for making this possible. I can't believe what we've just seen right now. Obviously, the 501 kilo deadlift, absolutely incredible. The comments afterwards, the talk's going to go on online for weeks and weeks and weeks. I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Thank you to the World Ultimate Strongman for putting this event on. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you.